another taste test. This time I got a package from Taiwan and it is from Rose. I'm very eager to try everything. It looks so good. Thank you Rose from the bottom of my heart for sending me that wonderful package. I'm very excited. But before we begin, I decided that yet again I would try to speak another language. Now I was torn whether I should do Taiwanese or Mandarin, but since Mandarin is the official language in Taiwan, I have decided to speak Mandarin. Now, I also just want to apologize because <laughs> this is going to be bad. I'm just going to be honest with you. <laughs> okay, let's try Mandarin. If you would like to say how are you in Mandarin, it is... Ni hao ma. Ni hao ma. If you would like to answer with I'm fine, thanks, it is... Wo hen hao. Xie xie. Wan hen hao. Xie xie. Wan hen hao. Zeze? <laughs> to say good in Chinese or Mandarin, it is. Hao. Hao. So let's do it. I have a huge package. It comes from Rose from Taiwan. Rose wrote me a super cute letter. As you can see, she put two kilo jute on it and it has a little heart on there. And then she put a little sticker on there too that looks so precious. So let's open it. This letter is so sweet. It looks like a little bear when you unravel it. She wrote me a couple pages and she said so many nice things. She said that she hopes I'll come to Taiwan and that she hopes that I like the treats and a lot of really cute, really sweet things. And then she also said that she feels that I'm a sincere Christian and I have a beautiful future. You are so sweet, you're gonna make me cry. Let's get started. Rose put little sticky notes for me so that I would know what they're called. This one is, it says carrot cookie at the top, but it looks like there's a picture of both a radish and carrot, and also Rose put radish cookies on it. And there's a cute little bear. So when you open the package, you get this. They smell really good. They smell salty and savory. I love that kind of snack. And as you can see, it looks a little bit flaky and crumbly. So let's try it. even tried the rest but I believe this one's gonna be my favorite it's got a wonderful flavor it does a little bit remind you of carrots it is savory it is wonderful and it's a really good snack I would like to eat these like I would potato chips for everyone at home if you are looking for a new and salty snack that is delicious I recommend carrot cookies that are from Taiwan they are really really amazing and I love them next Rose sent me um, she labeled it as candy and she spelled it out for me. It's Jen Gan Zay. It looks like it is a hard candy and there's assortment of colors. We have red, green, orange, and yellow. And maybe it's just a hard candy. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. It is covered in some type of sugar. Mm. I think I'm going to enjoy this candy for a while. It is a hard candy. <laughs> I'm ecstatic. I love sugary candy. I really like this type of candy. And I think that it is fabulous. I really like it. Next, we have Chinese Hawthorne candy. I love the packaging. I think it's very cute. Unfortunately, I can't read this. I wish I could. It's tough to open. <laughs> They're in the shape of flowers. It has a very hard surface and it almost is chalky in the substance. It comes off ever so slightly. I believe the Chinese Hawthorne candy is also a little bit chalky in substance when you're eating it, not just the feel of your fingers. And I don't think it's very sweet at all. It's um, not my favorite. Next up, we got sucker balls. And your sticky note accidentally fell off, but it looks like it's chocolate soccer balls. And I guess in Taiwan, Soccer is a big thing. I don't know. I, I tried Austria and they had a soccer snack too. I think all around the world, soccer is just this huge sport. And here in the United States, we're just missing out. It looks like a very cute soccer ball. It's covered in this foil and I believe chocolate is inside. Where'd 
it go? I dropped it. I don't know where it went. Where'd it go? I don't... I have no idea where that went. I guess I'll have to find it later. Let's try again. Oh, I found it. It... <laughs> it went into the back. It is a solid chocolate. And I believe it is a milk chocolate. I'm sure that all of the kids in Taiwan love eating this as they play their soccer games. And I imagine it would probably be really fun to actually play with the candy before you eat it. Maybe you like do the little kick thing, kick the soccer ball. That's what I would do if I were a kid. I don't know. Next, we have plum candy. They're incredibly cute. I love the colors. And I don't know if you knew this, but marketing has shown that both yellow and red mixed together is a tool to make people hungry. So whoever created this candy is very intelligent about their marking. All right, I'm pulling it out. It is very sticky. It's actually sticking. And of course, it had a long trip to the United States from Taiwan. It looks like this is probably going to be a fruity part on the outside. And I believe that a plum is planted on the inside. Let's try. It is so sweet. I personally love sweets. And it has a sticky flavor on the outside. I do believe it's maybe a dry plum on the inside. But also, it reminds me of honey, and I love honey. My next treat from Taiwan is a slice of codfish. It just looks um, like a red slice of codfish. Mmm, smells like I'm at the sea, or perhaps that I've gone to a seafood restaurant. I'm excited to try this one. I don't think you would like this if you don't like fish, but however, I love fish. It does just seem like it's been fried, and I'm really glad and thankful that I got to try that. Thank you, Rose, for sending me it. My next treat from Taiwan is this wonderful bag. It's huge. I'm excited. At the top, it's written in English. It says sweet potato crisp, and to me, it almost looks like a Rice Krispie treat, but I am imagine it's going to be flavored like sweet potato. There is some type of substance that is clear and it looks a little bit sticky and I think it is what is holding this together. The interesting thing is I don't like sweet potato, but I like these. I think that they're a good snack. It's not as sweet as I thought it would be. It's like a mixture. It, it's not salty. It's not sweet. It's something that would be a really great snack, perhaps after you've already eaten a meal and you just need a little pick-me-up throughout your day. Next, we have this cute little can of, I believe it's like a soup. Uh, Rose wrote on here, it's called Mixed Kongi, and she said, P.S. If you consider it, it's too sweet, you can add water to adjust, or you can eat this hot or cold. The thing that is so amazing to me is this is so convenient. You literally just pop off the top of the lid, and there's a spoon inside. And you just crank it on up, and there you have it. You have a little portable spoon with you that you can take to work or wherever you go. Why are we not doing this in the United States? We need to be doing this. I, I am so fascinated by this. I showed my whole family. <laughs> we need to be doing this. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll get off my soapbox and stop the tangent. I digress. But this is awesome. And it has a lot of peanuts, a lot of beans, and it's just brown color and substance. It looks good. Oh, that threw me off. This soup is actually sweet. Now I get what you were talking about on the sticky note. You said if it's too sweet, add water. That actually really threw me off because it has beans, it has peanuts, it's brown. And I was thinking that it was going to be another soup that I'm very accustomed to, just like all the ones in the United States, but it's not. It's a sweet soup. But wow, that I'm very curious about this soup. And last but not least, we have this really cute package. Rose put a sticky note on here for me. It says it's a popsicle and it must be freeze before you eat. Well, unfortunately, I forgot to put it in the freezer, but that's okay. We will take care of it. I just wanted to show you the packaging because I thought it was so stinking cute. I find it rather idyllic, very quaint and warm and friendly. It's just so cute. There is a girl and she's getting a smooch from a boy. <laughs> and then down here, it looks like there's a horse-drawn carriage. So I've decided that I'm going to go eat dinner. I'm going to put this in the freezer while I'm eating. And then afterwards, I'll enjoy this as a dessert and I'll let you guys know how it tastes. This tastes really good. I'm probably eating it wrong, but it tastes great. 
Thank you so much for watching my video. I had so much fun trying these Taiwan candy and sweets. Rose, thank you for this wonderful package. You are so sweet to have sent that to me, and I really, truly appreciate it. Thank you. Also, whoever you are, I just wish we were all kinder to each other. So I want you to know that God thinks you're amazing, and Jesus loves you so much. You have a potential that only you can fulfill. So get out there and just be awesome. That's who you are. You are awesome. Thank you so much for watching my video. Stay tuned. I want to be receiving more packages from all over the world. It's super exciting and I can't wait. I'll see you guys later. Love you lots. Bye.